Today is the first day of the Conference on Retroviruses and Opportunistic Infections here in San Francisco, otherwise known as CROI. One of the biggest, if not the biggest, conference in the U.S. covering retroviruses and specifically HIV since the inauguration. And so it's the first time that we're really going to see how scientists and healthcare professionals are going to respond to all the executive orders that have been put in place since Trump's inauguration. There's certainly been a lot of FUD or fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the days leading up to the conference. And recently it was reported by the NIH that there are certain words that can't be included included in research if they want to continue receiving funding from the NIH. These words include transgender, climate change, China, and anything DEI. This will potentially mean the cancellation of funding for hundreds of studies. This is the first day that we're really going to get a look and see how folks are handling the situation, whether they're going to speak out, whether they are going to self-censor, because there is so much uncertainty and confusion and lack of clarity. In spite of this energy, there is a community of people who are ready to stand up, fight back, fight for science, fight for advocacy, and are not going to sit by and just allow entire communities to be erased. And so advocacy now is more important than ever. Anyone who is able to have a voice, especially those who are not funded by the government and therefore afraid to have their funding taken away, it's so important that we all speak up, speak together as one, and ensure that science continues to be the basis of how we are going to finally end the HIV epidemic. Watch this space and I will keep you updated.